Good afternoon. Welcome to the Walford Campus Virtual Open Event. In this session, we're going to be looking at the agriculture based courses at the Walford Campus. Uh, we've got tutors on hand to answer any questions you may have. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got a little video that just outlines what's involved in the various courses and the different levels. And hopefully that'll answer most of your questions. But if you've got any further questions, uh, please feel free to type them in and we'll do our best to answer them. Hello, my name is Carl Morris and I'm head of North Shropshire College. I would like to welcome you to our Walford Campus Virtual Open event. I thought I would start by explaining why you should consider Walford for your post-16 education. We offer a wide range of general and career specific courses ranging from animal management, agriculture, equine, motor vehicle and foundation studies. Our teachers are available throughout the virtual open event to explain the details of each course. In most cases, we offer different levels of courses ranging from entry level to level one, to level two, level three, and even higher nationals in animal management. Virtually all of our students progress onto a positive career path, whether that is university, a job or an apprenticeship. Our timetable is very different to other colleges. The vast majority of students come into college for three days per week. During this time, they do work very hard, but they are given the freedom for part-time jobs and work experience on the other two days. This also reduces their travel time into college. We have excellent facilities for all of our courses with specialist workshops and practical areas where needed. Just as a reminder, we do have student accommodation available. If you have any questions, please take the opportunity to speak to teachers during the event. Staff will be available to, available to discuss transport and finance queries as well. If you have not done so already, it is not too late to apply for next year. This can be done by filling in an application form found on our website. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the event. Hi and welcome to Walford's Agriculture Department. This will hopefully tell you about our Level 2 provision. To be able to access the course, you'll need the following entry requirements. So you've got to have a keen interest in agriculture and ideally some practical experience. We need four GCSEs at Grade 2 or 3 or above, or a Level 1 land-based diploma, at least a merit. The course is a City and Guilds Level 2 Technical Certificate in Agriculture and it's equivalent to four GCSEs. You'll take exams in Health and Safety and then the main content of the course exam in March. You'll also have some practical and written exams. Subjects you will cover include Health and Safety for Land-Based Industries, Agriculture Power Units and Machinery Operation, Crop Husbandry, Farm Animal Production, Farm Estate Maintenance, Physiology of Plants and Animals and Work Experience. For this, you'll need to find a suitable workplace that will be checked for health and safety. You'll then complete a number of set hours of work on days when you're not in college. This course runs for one year. If you do not receive a grade four or above in English or maths, then you will re-study those alongside your main qualification. After completion of the course with suitable grades, enthusiasm and references from your tutor and employer, you should be able to progress onto the Level 3 Advanced Technical Diploma in Agriculture. You may want to undertake an apprenticeship or go into full-time work, but we can help you with all these decisions and application if needs be. Employment options are endless in agriculture, but they could include being a general farm worker, an assistant herdsperson, assistant shepherd or shepherdess, an agricultural machinery operator, who knows. We'll take you on trips, visits and have guest speakers. We have some that we like to go on, but then we let you take a lead in what you'd like to see. After all, this is your education and experience and it's important that you have as much of a say as possible. There is a materials fee with this course of £180 to cover PPE, trips and visits. There are also bursaries available to those who meet the criteria to help pay for this. Agriculture plays a vital role providing 61% of the raw materials for the wider UK agri food industry and now is your opportunity um, to be join us and be part of that. My name is Tom Moore, I'm the farm manager at Walford Farm. We farm around 400 acres at Walford and our main enterprises are dairy and sheep. The dairy herd are currently transitioning from an all year round calming system to our grass based autumn block calving herd. We currently have 
install new infrastructure in tracks, water troughs, in pile of feeders. And we're looking to obtain more milk from grass. The herd is currently a Holstein cross Frisian herd. But we are moving forward towards crossbreeding now uh, with the help of LIC and we are monitor farm as well for LIC. We are using state-of-the-art technology in managing and monitoring cow health and welfare. And we currently milk the cows for a 24-24 herringbone forward parlour with also ID in parlour feeders. We have a commercial sheep flock of Welsh mules that we breed to Texel to produce Texel cross lambs. We usually target a March lambing, so very hands-on for the students as well, as are all other associated tasks involving the sheep. The main makeup of the farm is a grass-based farm with 50 acres of maize grown and around 10 acres a year fodder beet grown that we lift and we feed to the cows during the winter time. We have various machinery on the farm. Um, we run two large scale tractors, our own mowers, a fertilizer spreader, our own rake, a plow, and other cultivation equipment as well. And students themselves will get opportunities to assist in the land work that we carry out on the farm. This will hopefully tell you about our level three provision that we run. So to be able to access the course, you'll need the following entry requirements. So we'd like some practical farm experience or a keen interest in agriculture. Be at least 16 years of age at the beginning of the course. You could also come in with a level two diploma in agriculture at a merit or above. We'd like four GCSEs at grade four or above, and these are to include maths and English, or a merit grade in a suitable BTEC or City and Guilds qualification. You could also be a mature student that's demonstrating commitment to the course. The course is a City and Guilds Level 3 Technical Diploma in Agriculture. You'll take exams in Health and Safety and then the main content of the course main exam is in March. You'll also have some practical and written exams and the subjects that you'll cover in Year 1 are Plant and Soil Science, Health and Safety, Business in the Land Based Sector, Machinery Operations, Estate Skills, Sheep Production, Dairy Production, Crop Production, livestock husbandry and then for work experience you'll need to find a suitable workplace that will be checked for health and safety you'll then complete a number of set hours on days when you're not in college the course runs for two years with suitable grades enthusiasm and references from your tutor and employer you should be able to progress on to the second year which makes your qualification into a level three advanced technical extended diploma in agriculture i know a bit of a mouthful equivalent to three a levels and again with suitable grades this will give you ucas points to be able to access uni you may want to undertake an apprenticeship or go to uni or even into full-time work but we can help you with all of these decisions and applications if needs be. Employment options are endless in agriculture, but might include an assistant herdsperson or stock person, a tractor or machinery operator, feed sales and nutrition, an AI technician. Honestly, it's endless. We take you on trips and visits throughout the course and we have guest speakers in too. We have some that we like to go to, but then we'll let you take a lead in what you'd like to see. After all, this is your education and experience and it's important that you have your say as much as possible. There is a materials fee with this course and it's £180. That covers your PPE and trips and visits. There's also bursaries available to those who meet the criteria to help pay for this. Agriculture plays a vital role providing 61% of the raw materials for wider UK food industry. And now's your opportunity to join us and be part of that. We're quite fortunate in that our teaching and classrooms all done in the stable block, which is right next to the farm. So there's always something going on outside the window or for us to be able to tag along to and go and have a look. Okay, so hopefully that's given a good insight into the, the agriculture courses available on campus. Uh, so as I say, we've got Sarah on hand to answer any further questions you may have. Uh, we've got a few questions that have just come through. Uh, Sarah, if you're available just to answer these for us. Uh, so someone's asked, uh, what equipment would I need for these courses? OK, so equipment for the classroom would just be standard folder dividers. We'd like you to be nice and organised pens and paper because 
unlike some, we do expect you to write some notes down for your exams. Um, as far as PPE goes, your £180 course fee will cover all the PPE that you'll require. So you'll have waterproofs, um, you'll have wellies, you'll have overalls that will all come um, when you enrol with us. We'll get measurements and then we'll get those in and personalised to you and agriculture. So you're fairly well identifiable as well. And then there's some really nice jackets that when we go off campus and we go on trips and visits or around college that you'll be able to wear that keep you nice and warm and look really smart too. Lovely, sounds great. Um, you, you mentioned sort of trips and visits, um, and obviously it's kind of led by what students might want to do. What sort of things have you done in the past with students? We've done all sorts. So we like to start off that we go to market. So we look at what kind of animals we're expected to produce ready for market. And then we take that through and then go to um, an abattoir as well. So we see the final cut. So when we take all the bits off the external, we can see the internal. Um, we've been to um, a bull stud, so an AI stud to see where all the bulls stand. Uh, we've been to uh, lots of local farmers. We're really fortunate in where the college is situated that we have a lot available on our doorstep. So we've been to beef units, uh, we've been to sheep. So we do small scale, we do large scale. So we went to see a 3000 indoor lambing unit. Um, we've been to dairy again, really small scale, some um, a small robotic unit with about 50 cows up to an 1800 cow dairy unit, uh, poultry, AD plants, arable units, you name it. We've been out there and seen it. OK, brilliant. Plenty to see them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone's asked, uh, will we do any work on the farm? Uh, what sort of duties are, are involved? OK, so depending on what course it is, so if it's level two and you have maths and or English to study, if you're fortunate that you've maybe got one or both, but you're still on the level two course, whilst the in maths and English, there'll be directed study sessions, but normally additional duties on farm. Um, there are farm duties as part of timetable and then towards the end of level two, those wishing to progress on to level three have actual duties before and after college as well. Um, on the level three course, um, again, um, there's duties part of timetable and then they're expected to do duties before and after college and then take a lead with the level twos towards the end of the year. So it could be milking, it could be lambing, it could be general farm work. It just depends what's going on. Basically, you're a farm employee for the purpose of that. OK, brilliant. Um, I mean, someone else has also said, uh, will there be any practical involved? I mean, obviously that's part and part of what you've just explained there. Uh, um, well, practicals are actually additional to the duties. Um, so on the level two course, there's about seven hours in the classroom. There's about five hours of practical on farm. Um, so that's estate skills, livestock, machinery, operations. Um, similarly, subjects with the level three, um, but that's about eight hours in the classroom and four hours on practical. OK, brilliant. Uh, someone's asked, will there be lots of assignments? Um, the, there's not too many assignments because we run the City and Guilds Technicals. We have the exam in March. We then have something called the Synoptics, which is a practical based um, and a written assignment under exam conditions. Um, there aren't officially any assignments on the level two. On the level three, there are uh, seven written assignments that are spread out throughout the course. OK, great. Um, so let's ask what animals will I work with in the first year? Right, OK, um, all the animals, you'll work with everything. So we start with a basic introduction. We normally start at calf level um, and then we progress up the livestock classes. So you'll go from calves through to the heifers and then on to um, the dairy cows themselves. Likewise with the sheep, we'll tend to, because you're coming in in September, it's just before tupping or around tupping time. So there'll be lots of work with the ewes and the tups, getting them prepared for getting them in lamb. Brilliant. Um, I can probably guess the answer to this one, but someone said, will I drive a tractor? You can absolutely drive a tractor. Yep, doesn't matter where your experience is or where your starting point is, we will have you driving a tractor. We start on the 230s, which are really basic, um, and then we progress up and we've got a nice 200 plus horsepower tractor um, that you've probably seen in some of the videos that will be operated too. So yeah, quite big. Nice. Um, someone's asked uh, quite a good question here. What if we've never worked on a farm but have got an interest in agriculture? 
then that's absolutely fine. As long as you've got enthusiasm, we can work with that. I've had lots of students that have come through um, with no experience whatsoever and have progressed really well. Um, we've got a girl, Charlie, started on level two last year. She was shearing by the end of the year um, because she's going into the sheep sector. She's progressed onto the level three and she's doing really, really well. So yeah, it's not a problem. If you've got enthusiasm, we can work with that. That's fine. Great stuff. Um, someone's asked what are the subjects covered in level two? Um, I think I did mention them. I've got to try and remember them from the video. <laughs> they are plant and animal biology, work experience, health and safety, crop production, livestock production, machinery operations, estate skills. I think that's it. Yeah. Well remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Um, someone's asked um, about studying after level three. Now you mentioned um, degree courses. Yep. Would they be uh, degrees within the agriculture field? Or? There is absolutely, there's so much potential out there and what we'd call auxiliary industries as well. So it hasn't got to be that you've got to be at the coal face in the milking parlour at five o'clock every morning. There's things like the feed reps, the AI technicians, the veterinary um, assistants. There's so many jobs that go alongside this. Um, but again, with the technicals, as long as you've got the grades, you will get UCAS points and points mean prizes when we go to uni. So the UCAS points will transfer across into university. We have lots that progress. They've been to Aberystwyth, Bangor, Harper, Sirencester. Um, so yeah, a lot of the big unis are taking on our students. Okay, brilliant. Uh, someone's just, uh, last question we've had come through is, someone's just said, what do the practical exams actually consist of? Um, the synoptic assessments are, um, you have to think about it as a normal practical. It will be things that you will be well practiced in um, and you will have done it many times. So it's um, natural to you. We then release the task about four weeks before you've got to do it. Um, and so this year they've just completed them. They had to, the level twos had to health check a group of animals. They then had to write a report about that group of animals. Um, on the machinery, they had to be able to, getting a bit technical now, connect um, up to a topper and be able to operate that safely out in the field. The level threes did um, health checks. They had to do, oh, they both have to do estate skills as well. So the level threes put up a fence. The level twos built a pig enclosure. Um, and then they health checked an animal of their choice. Um, and then their operation was spring tines on one of the big tractors out in the field. So a, a spring cultivation to a crop. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, that's all the questions we've had through at the moment. I don't know, is it anything else you can think to add or is that sort of covered? Everything. Um, <laughs> yep, we do. Uh, well, we would normally do a study tour. We tend to aim that as a second year um, thing. And again, I like the group to work democratically. It's not just about what I want and what I say goes. It's really important that there's a buy-in from the group. So I normally offer that I've got connections in America, Canada and New Zealand and democratically I will let the group choose where they want to go. We were supposed to be in a couple of weeks flying out to Iowa in America for study tour but because of Covid obviously that had a massive impact and we had to cancel that um, but we were going to look at like an 8,000 cow beef unit um, there was a 12,000 cow dairy, um, there was um, John Deere where they make the tractors, so there was a factory tour there, there was a um, plant genetics station, there was so much to go out and see. It was a really good, robust programme, but like I say, that's been shelved at the moment, but there's things like that. And I'm open to suggestions, it's your course, it's your education, you tell me what you want and what you want to get out of it. And we've had people that don't know sort of what they want to go into. So I spoke to them, oh, well, you'd be really good, like something like trading standards. Oh, what's that? Well, let's go out and see. Let's get someone in to come and talk to us about it. So, yeah, really open to people bringing ideas to the table. OK, brilliant. Thank you for that. So, as I said, that's all the questions that have come through. It uh, doesn't look like there's any more coming through at the moment. So I think we'll, we'll wrap the session up there. Um, so this has been recorded and it will be up on the college YouTube account as soon as we can get that on there. Um, if you're watching that recording now and you're thinking, oh, I'd 
the question I wanted asked just hasn't been asked this time around. Uh, don't work panic. You can contact us through the website or through social media channels and we can direct your query to Sarah or, or whoever it needs to go to and we can get an answer back to you in due course. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching uh, and please feel free to tune into the other sessions throughout the day.